Right, we're gonna try out this uh, reaction thing. I've seen a lot of YouTubers have been doing sort of reaction videos to hate, and I've been getting tagged loads on Twitter and Instagram and all of the above. All of my links, by the way, down below. On this one video that someone's made, which apparently is a hate video on me, and I figured I might as well watch it live with you guys, and then we can react to it together. Please, after you've watched this video, if you enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up. It helps me a bunch. Comment your thoughts on this whole hate scenario. I know since I left and just in general I've been getting a lot of hate recently. I, I don't really mind, you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, I don't mind it too much. Let's get started. Here it is then, this is the video, it's called Should We Hate Seb Delaney, Seb Delaney Exposed. Expose me brother, tell me what you think. 71,000, <gasps> this guy's got 71k views on this video. How the hell did that happen? I mean, I must have a lot of haters. That is that is intense. He's got more he's got more views on that than I have on my quitting YouTube video. Let's check this guy out quickly just to see his YouTube channel. Oh, uh, this must be the most recent or the most popular video. The most recent video and the most popular video. Oh, so he's done he's done others. He, this is his style of video. Should we hate TJ Hunt? Vehicle Virgins, he's done Vehicle Virgins, okay. But he's done some reviews. So his views have, have knocked up. Look at this. 300 views. This one did well, 4K, 2.7K. So he's got decent views, this guy. 9.1K, that's that's good. He's doing well. And then it's just hopped up with these eight ones. 28, 17, 53, and 71. Should we just read, just before we start the video, should we do the top comment? The dude has a very punchable face, just saying. Can't stand this guy. Said it was a complete pont. Right, this is gonna be fun. Wow! Let's do this. So over the past Let's week, I've, you... I've been sweating like Jimmy Savile. Full screen. Fucking... Why? Because I got more views in one hour last week than I did get in the whole of July. So before we notice, and we're well on our way to two K subscribers. Two K. So he's been jumping up like mad because he's on three point three K. No, I'm not gonna subscribe if you're wondering. Not right now, at least. So he's been going. Up quickly. Okay. Now for today's video about a posh twat that lives in Monaco, aka Seb Delaney. That's me. Posh twat from Monaco. Been around a long time on YouTube, starting out Fact. making X Factor compilation videos. Would you believe? Um, no, I haven't. I am not in my life made an X Factor compilation video. Don't know where you got that stat from, but. Opening up the video with a completely made up fact is, is probably not the best way of going about it, but we'll keep watching, we'll keep watching, let's see. However, he's recently become a car and lifestyle blogger. Now we True. all know what lifestyle means, it means that daddy's f***ing funding it. But we'll get on. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be the case. Daddy's money, uh, your parents funding your lifestyle, we'll talk about that, we will talk about that. I've addressed it so many times, I have spoken about it. Even though they say I don't speak about it, but we'll, I guess we'll speak about it again. This was around October 2015. This is around the time that I first yes. subscribed to Seb, and I've watched him on and off no way. ever since. So I'm actually quite clued up on this topic. Legend! Thank you. Thank you for watching my videos since then. His collaborations over the years have seemingly been quite fruitful, as his sub count True. is rising quicker than f***ing Gemma Collins could sign up to a boat convention. His videos are entertaining, but recently his view count has hit rock bottom like f***ing Whitney Houston. His channel has been somewhat correct. Views have been down. About emotional content, the cancer of the internet. And just like every other greedy boy car vlogger. We okay, so there's gonna be some swearing in this video, but calling us all car YouTubers greedy boys, you just slammed everyone in one go, which if you're trying to be a car YouTuber, put me not the best idea. Promotional content, no matter how well disguised, it f***ing kills channels. Why? You know what? I'll agree that promotional content is not necessarily the best thing for YouTube. I agree with you on that. And I've, I've openly admitted to that. On this topic, Fair many enough. car YouTubers believe that there's a magical link between rare expensive car and lots of views. And that's just simply not the case. Yes, it... Correct. That is no longer the case. It maybe used to be. It is no longer the case. But the fact is, we like making content that we enjoy filming. And filming rare exotic cars is what we enjoy doing. And there is... There is a correlation somewhat for certain channels that have been in this YouTube scene for so long mate that if we post with supercars we do in general get more views that's, that's just a fact I'm not saying it's right or wrong I'm just saying that's usually what happens supercars of London was first starting out it might have been the case because such okay. cars were inaccessible to the public but now there are so many cancerous channels like my own 
that document these yeah. cars, meaning that the market it's is funny. now more flooded than f***ing Houston. The reason why oh, the oh, is right, You can't. The too soon, bro. You can't pull a Houston joke on us. The reason clickbait. Now, Seb, oh, Yes! Clickbait, come on. I know I'm gonna get slammed for this. I I get slammed for clickbait quite a bit. So bring it on. This should be uh this should get entertaining. Now Seb, in my experience, really doesn't clickbait that badly. But you lot in the tune whether it's the car community, linked anyone that dares make a catchy title and a decent thumbnail. Usually results Yes! In the yes! Thanks for saying it. It is true. Titles and thumbnails are made for people to click on them. So if you happen to make a title which your video is driving across Scotland in a supercar and you call the video just going to a pub in Scotland You're probably not gonna get as many views and at the end of the day You're making these videos to get views. I mean, it's not the only cause but you'd like to get views if you're doing this video So you call it like driving a supercar across Scotland and anyone's like clickbait because you know You didn't go all the way across Scotland and you're like well I like that fact it is kind of true But that's not to say that I haven't actually done proper clickbait and that people in this area do do it a lot. Seb released a video that is the definition of clickbait. It was titled, My Girlfriend Stole This Car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Sat proudly in the driver's seat of what we assume to be quite an expensive car. So have at it, I'm wrong. Seb obviously hasn't learned his lesson. Fair enough, it was a bold title. Technically though, she was sat in an expensive car and she did attempt to steal it from me. She gave it back. Bold title though, out. I agree. Daddy's money. As we have seen on countless occasions, Seb refuses to admit that he's had financial help off his parents, even though we all have, and it's nothing to be ashamed of. He's that I agree. I agree. I'm going to take a little side note here to talk about this because this comes up like tons. People seem to think that if you're a young guy and you're doing, a, I'm not saying you're doing insanely well, but let's say you have a car that's worth a certain amount and you're living a decent lifestyle. Everyone assumes it's impossible for a young person to, to make any money or be successful on their own. So it's just directly, and I've said, so I made a video, what is my job? I've made videos explaining. I mentioned it in videos so much. Of course, you get financial help from your parents in different ways, but I've explained that when I dropped out of university, which was three years ago now, the deal was you're on your own now. Of course, if I was gonna be living on the street, and had no money to eat or anything like that, my parents would have helped me out. And they have helped me out, this is not my house, I live in my parents' house. When I'm, I live between Geneva where they live and in Monaco, yes, I stay in the house here so I don't have rent to pay, which is the biggest help, so they've definitely helped me in that way. I do not get any form of monthly payment from my parents, any of that stuff, and I don't know how I can explain that more simply, other than the cars, I spent a lot of my money on cars, I've invested in different little projects. I work, YouTube is not all I do. Um, and yeah, I mean, I don't really know how to explain it without literally giving you too, so much personal, like showing you my bank statements. Like why the hell would I do that? Like you need to have a certain amount of privacy in your life as well. And then the other thing is, I'm telling you guys because I've shared so much of my life with you. I don't have to, if that makes sense. I And, and then I get so much shit for for saying certain things or not saying other things. Where I'm like, look, I, I'm here to show you cars. I'm not here to show you about my personal life necessarily. I choose to, and I've been very open, I believe, with you guys. And then there's still people like this who are commenting on things like, you don't know what my financial situation with my parents is. I agree there's nothing to be ashamed of in getting help with your parents, by your parents, financial help by your parents, such as getting the house here. But when you've worked hard and you've managed to, to make something, I've always tried to prove to older people in business, it doesn't mean because someone's young that their physical age uh, is, is young, that it doesn't mean that their mental age has to be that young as well and that you can't work with them because, oh, what, someone's 20, which means they're not gonna be as good as someone who's 35. No, if you have the skill or whatever to do your work, it shouldn't matter how old you are. And I've been trying to prove that and it's hard to convince people who are older or in the 50s who have been in business for a while but if now even people of our own age don't believe we can do it, it's tricky and it's somewhat sad. I mean, we need to believe in ourselves and we need to believe that whether you're 16, 20, 25, 45, 85, you can do it and you can make it and you can, you know, it's not all about finances either, but it is possible for people to be in that situation. And I said it so many times, I don't know how many times I'm gonna need to say it again, but yeah. That's the financial side. Sorry, I went on a bit of a rant, but it's because I get so many questions about it that I felt like it was probably time just to say, guys, here's the situation, 
do what you want with that information but that's the information coming from me believe it or not frankly that's your problem if you don't want to watch these videos they're free you don't have to he's dodged this question for so long that many people put him in the same category as jr garage who's jr garage is he ah uh, he made another hate video on jet he must be a must be a youtuber Garage. and trust me that is not a good category to be in honestly in my not? opinion i do think Shit. he should admit the help that he receives off his parents because this would make him a much more credible youtuber and at the end of the day you cannot help being born into money so just f***ing embrace it, dickhead. No, let's... Right, first of all, a bit aggressive. But second of all, like, I don't understand why you think that you know better than anyone else what... Like, I would never watch a YouTuber and and assume or make up stuff about their personal situations. It's like, I just find that a bit strange. Now let's talk about him forcing out sh** content. The language Except is pretty bad. He openly admits to this. He openly admits I to have. filling videos with shit content that I honestly wouldn't screenshot, print out, and wipe my with. It's, it's quite funny. Making videos. It's me! I'm, making videos. I'm on whatever his name is, his YouTube channel. We made it! All just to get to that sweet, sweet 10 minutes for them even juicier mid roll ads. Fact, fact, I was doing that. I've admitted to it, I'm not gonna lie. But if you're giving me shit for making videos where I can put mid roll ads in, what is this right here? I believe that's a mid roll ad, sir. And you've made a video which is just over 10 minutes. I'm just saying. Because he's obviously struggling to live. He's got such a hard life. Living in Monaco, you can barely afford it. <clears throat> what you put on YouTube is an, an exaggerated form of your real life. So no, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm doing okay. Yeah, but I'm not like, in. I, I can't buy everything I want to buy and, and I still have to be careful. It's not because I live in this area and because I have a nice car. That means like everything's okay financially. I'm not at all complaining. I am so, so, so lucky. And I feel incredibly fortunate to be in the position I'm in. Again, I just find it a bit sneaky of someone to comment on someone else's financial situation when you've never even had any contact with a person. But in all seriousness, YouTube favor videos that are longer than 10 minutes. And I think that my channel is testament to this. So I really do understand <laughs> why Seb went with At this least you admit it. Although Seb recently announced that he's selling his Lotus XE Sport 380. I am considering- It's me again. This upset a lot of the cretins that watch his videos. You can insult me. Do not. Insult the people who watch my videos. Just say sorry, guys, if he insulted you. Y you're legends. I love you. Don't, don't, don't mind him. And he's getting rid of it faster than gamer gun, gamer 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 cleaner gear, gamer keyboard cleaner. We'll fucking clean your keyboard. What did you just say? Gamer keyboard cleaner. We'll fucking clean your keyboard. What? And that's how you use Gamer Gunk Cleaner Ginger to clean your Gamer Gunk. Many people got pissed off because of the exclusive right. access he had. Now if Seb is self-funding his Lotus, then it's perfectly reasonable for him to sell it. Now, Thank you. However, every time I've stuck up for Seb, he's let me down. But guess what? Your boy's gone good Sorry. In one of his most recent videos, talked about buying a Ferrari 458. Let's How the f*** do you plan on buying one of them? <laughs> When your ad revenue is smaller than Michael Jackson's penis. And I will give you that. My ad revenue is down low because I'm not doing videos. But again, I'm I don't, not necessarily relying on ad revenue to buy these cars. But also, I've openly said that right now I would not be able to afford a 458. I need to save up for one. I just said that that would be the dream. That would be the goal. But yes, no, if I was able to buy one, trust me, it wouldn't be off ad revenue. As I have previously mentioned, his next upload was called Quitting YouTube. Not Quitting so let's start with this. You open up the video. Oops. You're expecting Seb sat there, sad face, sigh. Oh. No, let's start off the video in the most cheerful mood possible. That makes complete sense. <laughs> what a beautiful day. True, true, true. I see your point there. Valid point. I've been asked so much if I was quitting YouTube. Thought it was a valid title because of addressing the question and then I wanted to just vlog. I wanted to present in the video the new style I'm going to be doing. So therefore, Started off with a vlog and vlogs are pretty boring if you're depressed in them So I figured it'd be more fun if I was happy and the fact is I was not depressed I was happy at that time. So I'm not gonna put on an act to make the video I'm just gonna show you how I'm feeling at that specific time. And that's what I was doing that day So it's just a natural way of showing which I think what is what YouTube should be it shouldn't all be acted It should just be a natural form of seeing what people are up to he calls himself out on several things and to be fair to Seb 
that's the bigger thing to do. So I, I give you props for that one. Thank but you. Just to go Thank back you. to base sense, just you know, next time cut the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to be fair, this guy is pretty funny and he does have some valid points. There are some which are just completely false, but he does have a few pretty valid points and he seems he seems like a decent guy, I'm not gonna lie. The conclusion. Conclusion! So despite this rich ass <laughs> boy's ongoing efforts to destroy That's me. the channel with clickbait and lies, I actually think we should forgive the <laughs> but let's give him a 16th chance. Why? I'll be honest with you, I woke up in quite a good mood today. Oh, obviously thank you. The video is quite funny. He's done a good job with the video. Like inserting different things. A few facts are completely false, but some of them are good. He's, it's a decent, it's a good video. The guy's done a good video, and no one really does that style of video in what we're doing. Credit where credit's due. He's done, he's done quite well with it. It's funny. Everyone has their own opinion. I obviously know that some people are gonna hate me, hate my videos. It's just part of what we do. No hard feelings as far as that's concerned. And, you know, constructive criticism down, down, downstairs. I was gonna say downstairs, down below. And then uh, we can work on it together, but no, it, it's a funny video. But when he actually tries to make good content, he, has, it, he can be really good. Um, there's no denying that. Thank Seb you. is a good YouTuber. When he's actually trying to be. So Seb, if you are watching this the second I am. we relapse and release a promotional video or some other shitty clickbait that I Fair also point. know that you're better than, I'm going to release part Fair two. point. Although next Ooh. time, I don't think I'll be quite... Please. It could be hilarious. I think a part two would be pretty good. I know you probably come at me quite hard, but... I think it could be quite funny to do a part two, so please feel free. I shall release a clickbait video for this purpose. Please, honestly, don't <laughs> too quick because these videos take forever. <laughs> but YouTube algorithm absolutely loves it if you like the video more than me personally. Please Correct. Comment, I will respond to the positive and constructive comments, but if you're just going to insult Fair. me, put some effort into it. Same goes for this video. <laughs> and saying that I've got yellow teeth, my hair's brown, my teeth are light. It's the lighting. <laughs> and remember, guys, don't. <laughs> Funny. It's not worth. Why would you tell him that? Because it clearly isn't true. His teeth are clearly fine and his hair's clearly brown. So I would. No point in you guys going over there and insulting him. Please. Well, that was constructive. That was actually quite interesting. That was good fun. As I said, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. The guy is pretty funny and he's got some valid points about clickbait and things like that. Things I've openly admitted to. There's no shame in people hating stuff, but I just thought you guys asked me to react to the video, so we reacted to the video. And if there's a part two, it would be kind of funny to do another reaction. Good for him that he's getting lots of views. You have fun going to sleep at night knowing that you've profited off the back of p insulting people's hard work. Uh, I'm just gonna go keep doing stuff that I'm passionate about and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. This was not intended to insult anyone or be mean to anyone. This is just me reacting firsthand to the video. Uh, I know what the guy's doing. He's smart. He's doing it well. He's managed to get lots of views. He's putting the videos over 10 minutes. He's got some good uh, titles and thumbnails. And he's saying things that he knows people will react to in the video. So it's smart what he's doing and, and props to doing a good job on the video. You have some valid points. I completely understand where you're coming from and some of the things that you said about me, how that can seem that way from the outside. I hope I've addressed problems that you guys are wondering about. And my first reaction video, I don't know if we'll do this again. Also, I know he's planning on doing videos on Archie. Or maybe by the time this video comes out, he would have already done it. But it's <laughs> pretty funny if he does. I, I, would, I wouldn't mind seeing a video on Archie. So, Archie, good luck, brother. Good luck. That's it from me, guys, anyway. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Bye-bye. Uh, if I ever said I'm never scared, just know I mean it. If I ever said I fuck your bitch,